Stanislav, I'm a cybersecurity expert and I have a few projects in my career with a, a good success and, you know, I'm planning to get to the US and start expanding my projects or start getting the new career in this field and I just want to continue bring my kids here too. What kind of programs are available to me? So today you will learn the answer to this question and also how to get a free evaluation of your case. Let's go. Hello, my dear friends. I'm Stanislav Shamayev, a licensed business immigration and corporate attorney in Miami, Florida. Today we're discussing the cybersecurity specialist and the visa that may be one of the best options for you to come to the US. And I will not leave you guessing which visa that is. I'm gonna be discussing EB2 NIW, the visa in the national interest of the US government. Stanislav, why did you decide to make this a specific video on cybersecurity specialist for EB2 NIW? The reason for that, guys, is the two recent approvals for EB2 and IWs that were uh, in the cybersecurity space. I want to uh, discuss one of those projects and make, it as an, and make an example out of it to show you what kind of things you need to do to get uh, this uh, EB2 and IW approved. But before we get down to this, let's take a step back and remember what is EB2 and IW. EB2 and IW is the visa that gives you the green card, right? So basically, once you get approval for EB2 and IW, that means you got approved for a green card. Who gets the green card? You, your spouse, and your kids below 21 years old who are not married. And the timing for this visa is not very optimistic, but still it's, it's better than some others. And the average timeline for this visa from the moment you start till the moment you get the immigrant visa in your passport is about two and a half years. But Stanislav, why so long? Well, because there is a visa bulletin and priority dates. So the priority date for EB2 and IW right now is March, April, 2023. It's a year and a half wait after your approval. Why cybersecurity? Well, because cybersecurity specialists are in a huge demand in the US. Every single minute as we speak, something happens in, the, in that industry, something gets hacked, something gets leaked, something gets broken, some files get destroyed and things like that for banks, for big corporations, for the government agencies, for mid-sized businesses, for financial businesses, for crypto businesses, blockchain, things like that. So you guys are in a huge demand. Now, let's get down to the criteria of EB2 and IW and how do we satisfy them. The first criterion is education or exceptional abilities. Either you have IT degree, bachelor's and five years of experience, or you have master's in IT. Or if you don't have education, it's not a rare case when a good, talented IT specialist does not have education in this, in this field. You guys self-learn, but, and that's why there is an exceptional ability option. If you don't have the education of the proper amount of education. That is the six criteria. We need to prove three out of the six. And I'm not going to go deep in that because it's more intermediate advanced level of EB2 and IW. But trust me on these guys, most of you who don't have education in cybersecurity will still have be able to prove the uh, exceptional ability. Okay. Especially if you have more than 10 years of experience. It's a good measure of exceptional ability. It's not critical if you don't, but it's a huge benefit if you do. If we have either education or exceptional ability, now let's discuss the, and by the way, the example that I want to bring it to you, my client had both exceptional ability and education. The bachelor's and more than five years of experience, he had like 12, uh, and also exceptional ability. I made an argument in alternative for that. So we must have either education or exceptional ability. The second criterion, we need to propose an idea of 
what are we going to do in the US? What kind of project we will be involved in that is in a national that is in the national interest of the US government. And that's broken down into sub criteria. Number one, we need to resolve some problem. And the resolution of that problem must be of the national importance. Let me give you an example of this case. My client developed the platform for businesses to protect the cloud files from DDoS attacks. Not only he developed it, but he also uh, uh, has been selling this platform, this product in the companies in his countries with a great success. What kind of problem is he going to resolve? He is going to resolve the attacks, DDoS attacks on US companies. Is preventing or helping to uh, stop DDoS attacks for American companies is of the national importance to US government? Absolutely yes, because if they don't get those attacks or they significantly reduce them, they work properly, they don't stop working, they save the, uh, the resources, the, uh, the business of the clients is protected. That's why it's very important to keep them going with no hack attacks, with no leaks and stuff like that. So it's important to protect its businesses in the country, right? So absolutely, this is of the national interest to the US government. And the last criteria, right? So the education or exceptional abilities, the proposal of what you're gonna do, how you're gonna save the world. And the last one is well positioned. What does that mean? Well, we need to show that we stand right now in the position to be able to implement that project in the future. How can we show that? Your past education, your past projects, your past companies where you worked, the technology that you developed, the conferences, the articles about you, your publications, speaking at the conferences, going to the expos, being an to go experts in the field and things like that. You don't have to have all that, but the more of those things you have, the better. The number of years uh, of your experience. So my client did, had both the education, he had uh, more than 10 years of experience. He already developed that platform for his country with the record of success. And also we improved his case with the uh, articles in the press and his own scientific publication because we know how to do this. All his experience, knowledge and past projects put him in the position to implement that in the future. Also, he had some funding and uh, uh, I also recommended he open an LLC in the US through which he would be doing this business, which he did. And we also get, got him the, uh, the uh, business plan for this company. And that project was approved like this. What to do if you don't have the realized project in the past? And before we get to that, Guys, go through the free evaluation process. What's the free evaluation? Below this video, there is a link. It says free evaluation EB2 and IW national, national interest. Click on it, fill out the form. And within two days, I'll get back to you with free analysis of your case, whether you have a B2 and a W, maybe you have a different type of visa, uh, what criteria we satisfy, which we don't satisfy, what we need to work on, and if you have the potential to work on your case for the next six months, improve it, file it, and get approval with the chances above 90%. All of that, is within this service which is called free evaluation the link is below and if i see that you have the potential in your case i will then invite you to the complex immigration planning where in two phases with the data manager will prepare a winning written strategy for your case and that strategy at the step three after that will be a landmark for your case when you start working with my team. So get the free evaluation right now. 
Now, let's get back to the idea of you not being able to know what kind of offer, what kind of proposed project you need to give to the US government. And here, guys, I have the solution for you. Just remember, think for a second, what you have been doing past three to five years on a daily basis. And don't think of it as, oh, I've been writing code, I've been drinking coffee in the morning. No, that's not what I want. What problem you've been resolving within your work? Maybe you, you were working preventing the hack attacks on your company. Maybe you were building some kind of, of protection for the company. Maybe you've been improving the processes or assessing the processes in the companies, uh, finding the mistakes and fixing them for those companies. Just try to understand what conceptual you've been doing and that is your project. Let's say you've been consulting the businesses about the malfunction of the design they have in the uh, company and providing the solutions for those things. That's exactly what you're going to be pro-offering to the US government because analyzing the is existing design is also solves the problems and is also important to the US government to optimize those processes because things happen faster. Okay, so use this formula in order to get a better understanding of what you're gonna offer. And also when I meet with you for the complex immigration planning, we also brainstorm this idea. And sometimes I give you a few good thoughts with where you should focus to get a good EB2 NIW. And last, before I let you go guys, but not least, EB2 and IW is a great visa because it's one of the two exceptions in the whole world that does not require an employer in the US. So this is important to understand because most overwhelming majority of immigrant visas require an employer and this one does not. So make sure you don't miss your opportunities. Guys, Smash the like button if you like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, a lot of great content coming every week. Also, comment, ask questions. I have Telegram, Instagram, I have TikTok, Twitter, and other platforms. Make sure you follow me on those. My name is Stanislav Shamayev. I'm a lawyer of the future. Your future begins here. Good luck.